Hi everyone! Welcome to Flying Dreams, where we'll take a journey through the exciting history of flight. I'm Hamad, your guide for this video, and I'm thrilled to share the wonders of aviation with you. So buckle up and fasten your seatbelts and prepare for takeoff. Our flight begins many centuries ago, where humans dreamed of soaring through the skies like birds. Let's discover the incredible progress we've made since then. Leonardo da Vinci, a brilliant artist and inventor, envisioned flying machines in the 15th century. He designed an incredible contraption that showed his boundless imagination. Fast forward to the 18th century, where two French brothers named Joseph Michel and Jacques Adiamont Gaultier achieved the first manned hot air balloon flight in 1783. It must have been like floating on the cloud. Fun fact, did you know that the first passengers on the hot air balloon were reared? A duck, a sheep, a rooster. Their invention paved way for others to explore the skies and set stage for more exciting advancements in aviation. One of the first people to make successful flight was Otto Lilienthal. He was a German engineer who built a series of gliders in the 1800s. His gliders were able to stay in the air for long periods of time, which helped pave way for other future aviation pioneers, Sir George Cayley, who developed the first successful glider in 1853. What was the first successful powered flight, and who were the Wright brothers? In the early 20th century, two determined brothers named Orville and Werbel Wright took flight to new heights. In 1903, they accomplished the first successful powered, controlled, and sustained flight. Their incredible aircraft, the Wright Flyer, showed the world that humans could conquer the air. It was a beginning of a revolution. Alberto Santos Dumont, who made the first public flight in Brazil in 1906. Luis Blair, who's the first person to fly across the English Channel in 1909. What was the role of aviation in World War I? From the groundbreaking moment, aviation enthusiasts and inventors worldwide were inspired to take to the skies. A new era had begun, filled with countless innovations and record-breaking achievements. Soon, airplanes were being used in military conflicts, such as World War I, revolutionizing warfare tactics and reconnaissance. When did commercial aviation begin? After World War I, there was a growing demand for commercial air travel. In 1919, the first commercial airline, KLM, was founded. In the Netherlands, KLM started flying between Amsterdam and London. As time went on, aviation technology advanced rapidly. In the 1920s, companies such as Pan Am and Boeing made commercial air travel a reality. But sadly, Pan Am had to shut down its operations and no longer exists. People could now hop on airplanes and reach faraway destinations in fraction of time it took by land or sea. It was a thrilling and convenient way to explore the world. When World War II broke out, airplanes played a crucial role. Fighter planes like the P-51 Mustang and Spitfire helped defend countries and protect innocent lives.
Brave pilots soared through the skies, showcasing incredible skill and courage. They truly became heroes, and their contributions will always be remembered. The jet engine was invented in 1943. There are three main types of jet engine, the turbofan, the turbojet, and the rocket. We'll cover each one and how this work in a later video. In 1947, American Chuck Yanger flew through the sound barrier for the very first time using the Bell X-1 aircraft. Other airlines soon followed and commercial air travel began to grow rapidly. In the 1950s, it was possible to go around the world by plane. But aviation didn't stop at flying in the Earth's atmosphere. In the 1960s, we aimed for the stars. The Concorde, a supersonic passenger airliner, took to the skies, symbolizing the pinnacle of human achievements in aviation. With its sleek design and remarkable speed, the Concorde bridged continents faster than ever before. Although its commercial service eventually came to an end, the Concorde remains the emblem of technological innovation in aviation. What are some challenges facing aviation today? Today, aviation continues to amaze us with its new innovations. We have supersonic jets, massive cargo planes, and even drones that can perform incredible tasks. Aviation has come a long way since its humble beginning. It's a testament for human curiosity, imagination, and determination. Who knows what the future holds? The sky is the limit. Let's compare our old generation aircraft to our new modern generation aircraft. Old generation aircraft were not able to exceed 15,000 feet and they had to fly through extremely bad weather such as turbulence, thunderstorms and many many others and the cabin was not pressurized while our modern day jets can cruise over 40,000 feet and the cabin is pressurized because of the lack of oxygen at that altitude and it can avoid all kinds of turbulence, thunderstorms, etc. Old generation aircraft were so shaky that even cabin crew members had to offer passengers between a puking or a non-puking section. That's gross! While modern day jets have no non-puking or puking section as they're not shaky, they're always stable. And if you really need to puke, there's a bag aside you in case. Old generation aircraft were so noisy that cabin crew members had to give passengers cotton balls and use megaphones as the passengers, of course, putting cotton balls in their ears. Speaking about time, did you know that a trip 
from New York to Los Angeles took 25 hours on the old generation aircraft, where on our modern generation aircraft it only takes 6 hours. In the old days, aircraft had to make lots of technical stops for maintenance and refueling, while on modern day jets be maintained and refueled at point A and reach point B without any stop. Funny fact! Did you know that in 2016, in Colombia, a parrot named Rocky managed to knock a pilot unconscious and control the aircraft? But sadly, the aircraft crashed, but Rocky survived! Thank you all for joining me on this incredible flight. I can't wait to share more and more with you guys. This is your checklist for today. Subscribe to my channel, check, ring notification bell, check, like, of course, on the checklist, it's a check. And until next time, fly high, stay inspired.